Hi, I'm Stephen O'Brien. I'm the Parliamentary Under Secretary of State at the Department for International Development. I'm a Conservative MP and as a member of the Coalition Government, uh, I'm very pleased to be able to represent my constituents from the southwest part of Cheshire, up in the north of England, uh, here in Westminster. Uh, Stephen, thank you for coming. I'd like to start with a very simple question. How old will you be in 2050? I'm very confident that I will be a very healthy 93. <laughs> 93? Wow, that's, that's really so, good. So, young as heart. <laughs> We were wondering how often people, young people get in contact with you to meet you from your constituency. Well, young people do get in touch regularly, uh, less because they've got particular cases to raise in which they need help, uh, more often because they're very, either very interested in policy or in the development of policy uh, or in joining a campaign. And I think it's probably that latter point that is where they focus their energies and their effort. And it's always very influential to really recognise how those of us who are elected representatives are not only accountable, of course, to the whole uh, broad spectrum of people who represent any constituency, also that we have a future responsibility for the generations who come after us to think about the issues that really affect them. Well, the most interesting thing that comes with uh, particularly young people, actually I have to say it does come from more, not just young people, and that has been the development of appropriate renewable energy sources as well as what do we really mean by energy efficiency and making maximum use. And whilst a lot of people focus upon transportation fuels, uh, increasingly young people recognise that the greatest opportunity is to be more efficient in the way we generate fuels for our homes. Being from the north of England, it's both often very wet, certainly can be cold, people do need heat, so they need to make sure that extends to some of the most vulnerable in our society. And so solar power, and being able to make that real, how do we harness the waves and the ocean uh, energies, and how do we transmit that from where it exists into the use places, such as uh, on land and more or less an inland constituency such as my own. So those are the big challenges. Plus there is a real discussion that uh, if you're serious about meeting uh, the emissions targets, that even though it is counterintuitive to many people involved in the environment, it is absolutely vital to recognise that uh, getting fuels from nuclear power generation is a part of the future. So it's a question of how, not whether, uh, that is done. Thank you very much. It's been very nice to see you. Thank you for coming to Parliament. My pleasure. Thank you.